Microsoft recently released a new Teams calendar app, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, at the time of recording this video, the new calendar app is generally available to users using the new Teams desktop app. To access the new calendar, you want to click on the calendar app in the app rail, and then you want to click on the new calendar toggle in the upper right hand corner of the interface. You can see here after you click it, it's going to display the new calendar, which closely resembles the calendar that is available in the new Microsoft Outlook desktop app. Now, the first major change in the new calendar app is the scheduling meeting experience. Now you'll notice that the schedule meeting experience has been renamed to new event. And if you click on the drop down, you're going to see that you now have multiple options available and listed here. And there is some overlap from what was available in the previous calendar app. Now you can schedule events, channel meetings, webinars, town halls, etc. And what's really cool is that if you click on view all, you can even get some guidance on the differences between webinars, town halls, and virtual appointments. Now I've gone ahead and created a new event and you'll notice that the new event experience is identical to what you see in the new Microsoft Outlook app. Now in this new event experience, you're going to notice the same ribbon options. So you can access the meeting options, your response options, you can set your custom reminders, you can add categories to your meetings, you can access Viva Insights, and you can even send your meeting records to OneNote. Now, one of the more significant changes made to the new calendar app is that you now have access to group calendars in Teams. Now, in order to demonstrate this in the context of scheduling a meeting, I can click on this drop down to the right of my Outlook account. And you can see here that I can actually send this meeting from one of the group calendars that I have access to. Now, one of the more significant changes to the create an event experience is the ability to schedule in-person events. Now you'll see here that I've added my colleague Diego to this event, which is currently set up as a virtual Teams meeting. Now you'll also notice that I clicked on the find a time button and Teams is going to suggest times when both myself and my colleague are available. Now I'll go ahead and switch this to an in-person event by clicking on this toggle. And what you'll notice here is that the suggested times have now updated. Now, the reason that they updated is that in the new Microsoft Teams desktop app and in the new calendar app specifically, you can set the days in which you will be working in the office and working remotely. Now, when you toggle in-person event, it is going to check with the individuals on the recipient field to determine when they will be in the office and suggest appropriate times. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, you might want to join the over 2000 people that are subscribed to my Microsoft 365 Compass newsletter. In that weekly newsletter, I deliver to your inbox short, succinct, and actionable tutorials that can help increase your productivity with the Microsoft 365 suite of products. To join my newsletter, all you need to do is click the link that I've included in the description below and be sure to add my email address to your favorites. Now let's get back to the video. And the last most notable change in the create an event experience is the ability to add loop components. Now you'll notice at the very bottom of the interface here, there is this button that says add an agenda. I'll go ahead and click on it. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring up a templated loop component that allows you to post an agenda to capture meeting notes and also to capture follow up tasks. Now, when you populate this loop component, it will also be exposed in the meeting so that all of the participants can collaborate in it. Now, I just touched on the piece about work location. Now, in the calendar interface on the actual date cards, you will notice these icons that indicate whether you are working in the office or whether you will be working remotely. Now, you can easily change this on a per day basis by simply clicking on the option and then setting your desired location. Now, if you want to set a fixed work location schedule, you can actually now do that in the new Microsoft Teams calendar by clicking on the more options button and clicking into calendar settings. 
From here, you wanna click on the work hours and location, and this is going to allow you to set your work location and hours by day. Now, while this feature is new in the new calendar app, it has been available in the new Microsoft Outlook application for many months. Now, really important note, if you want to display your work location information to your colleagues, once you set it here, you want to make sure that you click in this dropdown and that you set this to can view either all details or can view general location information. If you don't, then users will not be able to determine whether you will be working from the office or whether you'll be working remotely. Now, another handy feature in the new calendar app is the ability to print your calendar. Now, you might be wondering, why would you wanna print your calendar? Well, perhaps you're managing a calendar on behalf of other individuals and they like to have a physical copy to keep with them. Now, to access the print options, again, you want to click in the more options button and then you wanna click on the print option. You can see here that you can actually choose which calendar you'd like to print and you can even set your view. Now, by default, it's set to work week. You can switch this to day, week, or month. And another great feature of printing your agenda is that you can also print a detailed agenda, which will include things like your dial-in information and passcode. Now, earlier in the tutorial, I mentioned that you can now access group calendars in the Microsoft Teams calendar app. Now, to view calendar schedules, what you want to do is navigate to the calendar app click on the show all button, and this will allow you to switch between your default calendars and other calendars that have been shared with you by individuals and even group calendars for things like Microsoft Teams. Now, if I go ahead and select additional calendars here, if there were invites or events in those calendars, it would automatically create an overlay and display them here. Now, a really important note about group calendars, unfortunately, you cannot add a group calendar from Microsoft Teams. You do need to add your group calendars from Microsoft Outlook, and once they've been added, they will be visible in the Teams calendar app. Now, the new calendar app also gives you enhanced control over your calendar view. Now, you'll notice at the very top of the interface that you can switch between day view, work week, week, month. And what's really cool is that you can also select this split view, which is going to allow you to view multiple calendars that you have access to all in the same screen. Now you can even change the time scale from 60 minutes to 30 minute, 15 minute, 10 and six minute intervals. Now to demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and select 30 minute intervals. And you can see here that my calendar has collapsed. And when you're changing your different views, at any point in time, if you want to save a view, you can click back into the view picker, you can click on the saved view options, and you can actually give this view a name so that you can quickly get back into it. Now, in keeping with the topic of views, you'll also notice that there is a filter menu. Clicking on this is going to display a drop-down list of attributes that you can use to quickly filter your calendar. Now you'll notice by default, all of these attributes are selected, but let's say I want to only see meetings that I've categorized as green. I can choose this unselect all option and then apply a green category filter. And you can see here that I can now drill down into a specific category or class of meetings. Now, again, once you apply these filters, if you wanted to save that particular view, you can just click back into your work week field and then click on saved views. So that's it. In this video, I showed you how you can use the new Microsoft Teams calendar app. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, drop a comment below, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my new content. As always, I'm Louis Yacobalos. I'll see you in the next video.